Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Rodman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to fix the issue of Shizuku app not working on Android 16. So I've just installed the app onto my phone and it's currently on Android 16 base. If I now try to launch the app, you could see there is an issue. Cannot write five Java IO IO exception. So let's try to ignore this issue and try to launch this app via the let's say wireless debugging or ADB command, both of them. Let's go back, dev options, and from here. Let's go to wireless debugging, enable it, allow, go there. Now pair device with pairing code. Let's type in this pairing code in the Shizuku prompt, which is 573324. 573324. In my case, hit enter. Pairing is not successful. So go back, launch the app. Go back, now tap on start. And you could now see again the same issues there. I cannot run this app in this mode via the wireless debugging. Let's try it out using a new way, which is the PC via wireless command via the PC. Again, the same issue. So you could see it's not working. Still, let me try to simply copy paste the command onto my PC. I have the guide. In the guide, let's opt for the method of via PC. And this is the command over here in my article. Let's simply again try to launch the command. Even though it's not working, let's try it out. CMD in the platform tools folder is now open. And if the wireless debugging is enabled or not, it's also enabled. Well and good. So let's now type in this command. Hit enter. Okay, again, ADB shell. Hit enter. Now let's paste this command and remove the ADB shell from the starting. Because we've already used that command. So again, that is not working as well. So there is some issue with this command as well. And even the wireless debugging is not working. I've tried it out. And every time I close the app and again launch it, you would see. The same issue. Let's try to remove one issue as well. Go to app info, battery. Let's go to permission. No permission is denied. Okay. Then we have the mobile data usage. We, although it's not required, let's enable unrestricted access for the mo mobile data usage. I want to, okay, this is the one app battery usage. Allow background usage. Enable this. Allow background usage. Let's say unrestricted. It's done as well. Now let's relaunch the Shizuku app and see what happens. Open it. Again, the same issue, it's not the issue with the battery. So guys, what exactly is the issue? Well, every time you try to launch the Shizuku app, you will get either this first error message or the, the second one. You could see either of these two. So the issue is with the app version. I have installed the app from Play Store and that is the main culprit. You could see in the Play Store, the app was last updated on 10th March 2024. Last year, as you could see. So after that, the Android, so after that, the Android 16 based OS came out. But the app is not yet updated with Android 16 support because the Play Store last update was on 2024. At that point in time, I don't think the Android 16 was released. So that is why we are having this issue in Android 16. So what else can be done? Well, it's quite simple. Simply, you have to get the app from its official GitHub page and the issue will be fixed. This is the official GitHub page and the last re release was done on. Let me show you. Just give me a second. Well, it's lagging somewhat. I don't know why. Okay, here is the one. This year of May 2025, and you could see we have the Android 16 support as well. So please only install the app from GitHub, not from Play Store, and the issue will be fixed. Let me show you once again. Let's unlock my phone and first off, remove the app from your phone. That is very important. Uninstall. Okay. And now get the app from the GitHub, the latest build, which is for May 2025 and supporting Android 16. So get the APK file onto your phone. Once you have got it, let's install this. This is the download and this is the APK file from GitHub. Install. And it will take just a few seconds. Let's now open the app. Shizuku app is over here. You could see I, I haven't got any issue this time around. Let's now try to, to run the app again by wireless debugging. So pairing. Notification options. Allow all notifications. Go back. Now tap on dev options. Enable wireless debugging. Go to wireless debugging. Tap on pair with pairing code. You will now get a pairing code. Type in this over here, which in our case is 125176, 125176, hit enter. Pairing is now done, complete. Let's now launch the Shizuku app once again. Now go back, tap on start and wait for a few seconds. So let me show you. Now you could see the Shizuku app is running with a in ADB mode. You simply launch the app via the PC as well. It will now work without any issue whatsoever. As you could now see, it's now up and running. So guys, if you're on Android 16, Please use the official GitHub build and not the Play Store build because in Play Store it's quite an old build which will not work on Android 16 
and that is it if you have any query let me know in the comment section